I just want to talk about the WGA very quickly. So the WGA is now going to officially start their contract negotiations. Now, what are you saying? How's this going down? Well, on March 20th is when they're beginning their negotiations with the producers to try to figure out if they can work out all of their contracts and not have a strike. Well, I'm not too sure this is going to happen. We said this before. Their contract actually ends May 1st. It's not that long away. Not that long at all. And the WGA is currently saying that, and you know, you've probably been hearing a lot of rumors and, and claims about the upcoming negotiations in the press, but they want to remind us that it, whoever claims they're being put out there, they're not real. The Guild will do their decisions. They'll have to decide all together as a, as a unit, and it's not what they're saying. But I mean, honestly, it is what they're saying. They're saying they need more money for residuals. They're saying the streaming stuff is a problem. They're saying they will strike if they have to, and they have before. So why, why is there less products right now? Hmm? Why are there less products out there? Why are there less shows shooting? Why are there less auditions? Because people are scared. People are scared there's a, there's a strike coming. And if they strike, if the DGA strikes, like we said before, bam, Hollywood shut down again. Shut down. And Jake, as an agent, or as a manager, I should say, you've probably seen less and less auditions, right? Do you think this is actually part of this? People are scared that they're afraid that they will have studios sitting vacant because there'll be a potential strike. Yeah, and it's been a trickle, right? And I think it goes day to day. Some days are better than others. And I've been seeing some pilots come in, you know, so there's there's some pilot stuff that's coming through. Um, but anything that's reassuring yeah so there's there's stuff happening but it's it feels like the whole thing is set up to where it could just stop at any moment you know so yeah just done shut down end, you know on our end we're preparing for okay so let's assume that tv and film goes away what are we going to do for our clients okay that doesn't happen what if uh commercial goes away you know and then there's okay so theater maybe we could still do theater does anybody want to do theater so we're kind of building out these contingency plans based on um what could potentially happen so film might be okay because you don't need the writers so much if it's written already you know you could get yeah. an independent director to kind of help you out if you needed to if you really wanted to push something through there's a way to do it um and if the script is already written and doesn't require any changes um, so it's, it's going to be touch and go, but, you know, from a producer's side, you know, standpoint, if you want to put your money into something, you want to make sure that it's going to make your return on investment is going to be good. Right. So oh, yeah. with all that up in the air that I would, if I, if I was going to write a check for $20 million to help out on a show to be part of a production team. I would probably be very hesitant if I did not know for sure 100% that I was going to get that return within a certain amount of time. So to just throw it out there and hope for the best, none of them are going to do that. That's never going to happen. Oh yeah. Not so going to happen until this is, you know, written, done, everybody signed, dotted, things are good. I, I think once it's over and then we'll see a huge tsunami of stuff because it's all just kind of pent up and waiting. So. Yeah, that's that's the thing though. It's like, we don't know. We really don't know yeah. a lot of this, but people are scared. People are super scared about it and they're not sure they're gonna have a job. And and if you don't know, the thing is they, they rent out these studios and if they already signed a contract to have them for a certain amount of month, the studios will be like, give us your money, you know? Yeah. They don't want their money. Try getting out of that, you know? Oh, there's a strike, sorry. Sorry for your loss, whatever, you know? We want yeah. our money, show me the money. You know, so that's the problem. And if people are scared, they're not going to start productions. They're not going to start a new show. They're not going to start new seasons. They're just going to hold off until they have an opportunity to actually shoot. And they know there's actually guaranteed, you know, time that they have these writers and these directors. And even if, Jake, even if like the writers thing happens and the directors thing doesn't, I mean, it's still going to shut down. But the, this directors I, thing is just another, it's just another ace in their pocket to be like, then there's literally nobody, you know? What do you think about I this? I bet you Sabrina? that's why you... they already wrote uh, Mandalorian season four. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Maybe they didn't. They were just guarantee that's kicking why. right off. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a problem. Yeah. If you're an actor, 
you know, they might not be less, might be less jobs for you. There's probably less opportunity right now. So if you're actually been getting like less auditions and, and less calls from your agent or your manager, this is why, this is one of the big reasons why don't be like, what are they, what are they doing for me? You call them up. I've been so sad. <laughs> you know, we've been searching and searching and searching and, you know, we're, you know, my, my direct upline is we've been pitching on as much as we can in between just to hope that we hook onto something. Right. So of course, yeah, it's, uh, we're doing what we can.